championships. Today, the men's all events championship. Our third seed, Steve Badney from Claremont, New Hampshire, will take on our number two seed, Steve Reno of Southbridge. The right to take on our top seed for the championship, Joe Tavernese of Lynn, on this special edition of Candleton Doubles. Hi everyone, I'm Brian Leary. Here we go with the seventh and last of our NBA Championship Series events, the men's all-events title. It's almost a rematch of a couple of weeks ago for the men's singles. Same situation, Joe Tavernese gets to sit and wait and see who gets to take him on. And like it was a couple of weeks ago, Steve Reno is one of those challengers. And Steve, a couple of weeks ago, you may remember, was able to beat Joe for the championship. So he'll be going for his second. The payoff a little higher this time. $2,500 goes to the winner here, 1000 to the runner-up and $750 to the third place finisher, so everyone is guaranteed at least that much. Same bonus money situation, three marks in a row is worth $50, three strikes in a row, $1,000, and should one of our two or three seeds be able to win two matches and exceed 275 pins, there'll be an extra bonus of $200. More important, the championship, so let's get on with the preliminary round. Steve Reno and Steve Badney will start it off. Steve Badney goes first, Steve the number three seed, and Steve Reno, the number two seed. Steve Badney, the 1984 and 85 New Hampshire state champion. He opens with a spare. And so does Steve Reno, the 1986 and 89. Massachusetts State Singles Champion. Each bowler with a big fill. Steve Badney for two in a row and he's got it. And Steve Reno has got his. Again, a big fill. Eight this time. Steve Reno opens with three in a row and fifty dollars in bonus money. Steve Badney with nine, thirty-nine through three. Steve Reno at forty-seven plus through three. On the spare. Steve Reno with his third mark in four frames. The Badney for four in a row. Steve Reno, rather. So Steve Reno is at 63 plus, 49 plus for Steve Badney. Another big fill, eight and 71 through four. And five in a row now, $150 in bonus money. Steve Badney with a nine. And imagine how he feels after the first five. He's rolled pretty well, 62. 
but he finds himself home, will find himself behind, rather, by more than 20 pins. Steve Reno at 81, plus a bonus ball. Steve Badney at 62. We're halfway through the preliminary round. We'll be back with the back half right after this. Steps in in the sixth now. Steve is down by at least 19 pins. Steve Reno has done nothing but mark. For six in a row, no. Badney and Steve Reno. Take a 10. 99 to 72. Steve Reno in front by 27 pins. They're bowling for the right to take on Joe Tavernese for the men's all events championship and a $2,500 top prize. Steve Reno with a total pinfall of 28-10 in the All Events Championship. Steve Badney behind him at 27-79. And another spare. So Steve Badney is in a situation now where he pretty much has to mark out. Spare. 117 through seven. And ten, 127. A 37 pin lead with two to go. One twenty seven to ninety through eight. Joe Tavanese, the top seed, Steve Reno, number two, and Steve Vadney, number three, finishing fourth in the all events, Al Johnson. Worth $150. Rich Pedroli was behind him in fifth for $125. Followed by Deck Klein, Harry Reno, Steve's dad, and James Putney and Jack Sanick. Steve Badney spares in the ninth. Wally Basilinski rounds out the top 10 in the men's all events. <laughs> 10 and 137 through nine. Each of these bowlers guaranteed $750 for getting this far. As Steve Reno wraps it up here in the 10th. Steve Badney finishes with a couple of spares. Steve Reno adds a spare of his own. 
which may become important should he go for a 275 for two strings. He's already at 147. And he will get the second string as he now moves on to take on Joe Tabernese for the men's all events title. Steve Vadney with a pretty good string at 126, but just not enough. Steve Reno adds seven to the spare. And an opening 154. So Steve Reno wins the preliminary round handily. 154 to Steve Vadney's 126. Steve Reno now. Moves on to take on Joe Tavernese in the men's all events final. A rematch of two weeks ago when Joe Tavernese could not knock off Steve Reno for the men's singles final. We'll see what happens this time around right after this. All events championship now. Steve Reno against Joe Tavernese. Steve with an opening 154. Seven, nine, and ten, and some wood that should help take out the nine and ten. Here it goes. Steve Reno is still hot. Joe Tavernese now. Joe's problem in the all events, or rather in the singles a couple of weeks ago, was missing the head pin. He made some beautiful spares in three of his first four frames. But you just can't win when you don't hit the head pin. All of them. Steve Reno strikes on the spare. Joe Taranese now with a spare leave. Uh-uh. Steve Reno is threatening to run away and hide here. 30 plus two bonus balls in the second. Before we heat up too much, we want to take a second to thank our host here, Sil Angelotti of Pilgrim Lanes in Haverhill, for hosting the open events and our championship events over the past seven weeks. his first mark a pretty one in the fourth 37 plus now so the lead is 18 minus however many Joe gets on his first ball Marks in the fifth. Yeah. Well, he deserves a break. And after making the great spare in the fourth, a little luck is helpful. Joe Tavernese. Stays alive with a mark in the fifth. Get up. Oh. 
Halfway through, the lead is 11 pins. A reminder now that our seven-week NBA Championship Series is over. Our seven-week women's series will begin next week. Jan Stasio and Mal Honorado come back looking for their fourth consecutive win. Jan, one of our finalists in both the ladies' singles and all events championships in the past few weeks. Two good shots at spare here. Steve Reno gets his. And Joe Tavernese gets his. Steve Reno leads by 13 as we move into the final three. an opening and Joe Tavanese marches right through it with a mark in the eighth Steve Reno at 108 Joe Tavernese at 93 plus Steve Reno will easily hit 275 for two strings worth an extra $200 the question is whether he'll be able to hold on to take home the top prize of 2500 for the championship. <laughs> on the spare, needs a big fill. And he gets eight. 101. The lead is seven with two boxes to go. The Reno spares in the ninth. Joe Chavanese spares in the knife. We come to the final box. Joe Chavanese needing a mark in hoping that Steve Reno does not get one himself. Only four. The lead is two. And now most likely Steve Reno is the one who needs the mark. He's got it. Joe Tavernese needs this to stay alive. And he's got it. We come down to the final balls as we did with the ladies singles only three weeks ago. Steve Reno takes a two-pin lead here into the bonus ball situation. So nine would win it. Five. Seven will tie. He's got it. Tavernese on the final ball takes the All Events Championship. A reversal of the fortunes we had only two weeks ago when Steve Reno beat Joe Tavernese for the singles championship. This time it's Joe Tavernese winning the championship and the $2,500 top prize. Here are the total. Joe Tavernese a 139 Steve Reno a 137 we'll be back right after this
men's all events champion. We'll talk to Joe in just a second, but first we'll congratulate Steve Badney, the third place finisher. Steve said after it was all over, why did we even bother? This is the order we finished in, right? <laughs> right, well, it sure did make it exciting, though, for everyone, I think. Okay, Steve Badney, we have a check for you for $750, and congratulations. Thank you. Okay, Steve Badney. Now, our runner-up, Steve Reno, a couple of weeks ago, was able to win the men's singles event, and we thought you had it this time. I bet you did, too, huh? It was called Joe Gutter's Revenge on Me. Uh, okay. Great bowling. It's not often that you'd uh, get a 137, and I think, and, and lose a match on these shows. Uh, uh, we both did our best. <laughs> yeah, well, the 137 comes on the heels of the 154, so you have the two-string total of... Uh, of 275, well beyond that. Uh, so we have 200 for that, 150 in bonus money, $1,000 for finishing second. We have $1,350 for you, and you congratulations, Steve Reno. Now, Joe Tavernese. Congratulations. Thanks, Ryan. Thank you. All right. Well, Joe, this makes up for a couple of weeks ago? It does. Yeah, very much. <laughs> okay, we have $50 in bonus money, $2,500, the top prize. Let me give you that. And let's bring Al Serafin from the NBA up here to make the presentation. Al? I've been around this business a long time, but it's one of the best pressure matches I've ever seen. Yeah. Thank you. So on behalf of the Mass Bowling Association, we'd like to award you this trophy. Thank you very much. Thank you. I know you'd get at least that seven on the final ball, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to put it in there. Thank you. All right, Joe Tavernese, congratulations. The 1989 All-Events Champion. Now, let's see. Next week, we go back to the women's... Next week, we go back to our women's series, Jan Stasio and Mal Honorato will be here. They'll be going for four in a row, and we'll have a seven-week series, so I hope you'll stay tuned for that. One last note, Ed Harding from Sports Center 5 will be taking over next week as I concentrate on the uh, weekend newscast. So I hope you watch. The ratings will go up. We'll all make a lot of money. We'll have a big party. Take care, everyone. Thank you.